right guys here we go again another episode another day out chasing mule deer i got my buddy gabe here he's gonna put me on all the big bucks he's the resident expert apparently i hope <laughs> we're gonna go up and see if we can get on some deer he's been seeing some decent deer so go try something new today that big buck in the private's been messing with my head so i'm gonna give him a night to just kind of do his own thing get back into his routine and i'll try him again in the morning if this spot doesn't pan out so what do you think man it should pan out we'll see i've seen deer in here every time we've i've been in here this week and last week so looks good you heard it there guaranteed your money back Well, uh, got back to the hotel room here. Me and uh, me and Gabe went out and looked for elk tonight. Or sorry, deer. Yeah, you guys, I look tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, we looked for deer tonight. We didn't see any deer. Um, we kind of just rode around. I didn't shoot a whole lot of video just because we were just mostly driving and checking water holes and stuff. But uh, I'm getting done. I'm getting done with this one. This is the last night I have this room and I've been trying to decide what to do whether I should get another room for another night or what. There's my wife calling me on the phone right now. Hold on. Anyway, I'm back. So, I uh, just got off the phone with my wife and she's a champ. I don't say that enough. My wife is a freaking champ for letting me be gone this long, for handling our two young boys, for being eight and a half months pregnant and dealing with all this. And uh, everyone has a breaking point, and she is not at her breaking point. Like honestly, she could keep going, but I can tell. I can tell that it would make her happy um, and ease her mind to have me come home. So I'm going home. I'm gonna hunt tomorrow morning, um, but I'm not gonna re-up this room. I'm going home. That's it. Put a lot into this. A lot into this. Just got to do what's best for the family, and and I know none of you would ever fault me for that. As uh, as disappointing as it'll be to leave this, my excitement to see my family is is double that. I miss my boys so much, and I miss my wife. And it's time to go be with them for a few days before I leave and go on another hunt. Utah muzzleloader, you know, doesn't start for another 10 days after I get home. So I'm gonna start the scouting process for that. But mostly, I'm just gonna be there. That's where I need to be right now. Yeah, so I'm going to hunt tomorrow morning. I'm going to give this big buck one last run. Leave this place in the rearview mirror. So, it's been fun. It's been a fun hunt. It's been fun to see this big buck. It's been also very hard. It's been difficult. But, anyway, one more morning. Let's we'll see if we can make it happen. Good morning, everything loaded in the truck. <sighs> All the gear, hotel room cleaned out. It's 5.15, I'm headed to give this buck one more shot. I know, I know he's gonna be there. Hopefully I can find him. I'm gonna do whatever it takes today, be super aggressive with him. If I have any kind of an opportunity at all while he's on the public, I'm gonna hurry and make a run on him. And I think that we have a real chance of getting her done today and getting out of here. I hope. Man, I need to find somewhere that's open because I need to get some gas. And I need to get ice. I know he's open at 5 in the morning. Let's go give this one more shot. Cross your fingers for me, guys. Let's get this done today. Please, let's get this done today. All right, you guys, I'm going to gamble. Instead of going to the glassing point where I usually go... And I'm always glassing the buck up on the other side of the canyon where I can't do anything about killing him. Like, really. I have to cross the private to get to where he is unless he's coming down to the water. And I don't think he's going to be coming down to the water first light today. So I'm going to the other side of the private where I went the other day, which means I'm going to have to hike up the big face, which is fine. And I'm going to um, try to catch him on that back side going to bed in the Quakies. That's the only thing I can think of that's going to put me in immediate position for a shot. I know I can hike up there without spooking him because I'm out of view the whole time. And I think if we're going to kill him, we're going to have to catch him right there 
because it's all public on the top on the back side and maybe not maybe if he doesn't show up maybe there's another good buck up there he this deer had another good four point with him we didn't spend much time looking at him because this deer was bigger but he had like another 160 type like a pretty nice good looking four point and uh so i'd shoot that buck too he's a good mature buck Obviously, honestly, I was reading through all the comments you guys left last night of, uh, you know, what kind of a deer I should shoot. And most people basically are like, do what feels right for you. And I guess that'll be a decision that I have to make in that moment. Of course, I want to kill a giant. I do. But I'm always conflicted. And that's why I asked for you guys' input, you know, not that I would let social media dictate how I'm going to behave, but simply because I'm always like up in the air. Do I try to get some of the cost of this tag and this hunt back in me? Or do I just be satisfied going home empty-handed and knowing that I tried hard? So that's where I'm at right now. I guess we'll have to make that call if a buck stands around somewhere this morning. I get a good look at him. You know, I'm not above shooting a deer that I can take home and eat. Um, I'm not a pure trophy hunter. You know, I love, I love to eat deer meat. So I guess we'll just kind of have to play that one by ear today. So I'm going to go park. And I'm going to hike up this face, this big face. It's a long ways up, but that's all right. I got time. I'm here plenty early. Hopefully we can get this buck cut off and cut up. I don't know who's in charge of these, but they're bass backwards. Behind that sign is private. This side is public. So it's confusing. If somebody didn't have a mapping system, they wouldn't know. They'd think that, that was public. Come on, people, get it together. Well, I've been waiting on this buck to come out for a couple hours now, and usually by this time he's gone to bed, so I'm not gonna give up quite yet. I'm gonna sit a little bit longer, but she got off the phone with my wife again, and she basically told me I can stay if I wanna stay. Um, but she said my boys woke up asking for me this morning and asking when I'm coming home. And that really hits home for me. You guys that have kids will understand that 100%. Even you guys that don't. But uh, we just both feel good. We feel like it's time to pull the plug on this thing. It's been a tough hunt. Um, I was adding them up last night, counting everything up. I've seen 15 deer in six days, seven days. Um, one good buck. So I think it's time to call quits on this thing and just head for home. It's been a learning experience. I've had a lot of learning experiences, even just reading comments from you guys and a lot of good reminders in there reminding me that uh, there's a lot of different forms of success. So these are the things that I'm taking as successes from this unit. One, I know I gave it everything. I know I tried hard. I know I put in the hours, I put in the time, hunted the most efficient and the best way that I could. Two, I found a big buck in a unit that I've never been to before and I got really close. I got really close to killing him. I would have killed him if he wasn't on private property. I mean, I was close enough, I was within range. So between me and the deer, it was pretty much a done deal. It's just a boundary. Three, we hit a million minutes of watch time on YouTube, um, probably today, actually. That means that uh, I had my best month on YouTube ever. I guess it would be by about five times, but that makes me feel really, really great, that support. Successful also in the fact that uh, I just got to enjoy this beautiful country. This is a, is a beautiful place. Barring some miracle, I'm gonna walk off this mountain, get in my truck, and I'm gonna sail for home. Got about an eight hour drive. And I'm gonna spend a few days getting ready for Utah muzzleloader deer. That's coming up here, starts next week. I'm trying to decide what to do, if I'm gonna keep these daily videos going or if I'm just kinda maybe doing every other day while I'm in between hunts. I wanna thank you guys for following along with this Colorado series. I'm leaving here, hold my head high, I feel good. On to the next one. I ain't gonna let this get me down. I hunt for a living. How crazy is that? How cool is that? 
Anyway, thank you guys for the positivity. Thank you for the comments. I need to thank some people who bought some apparel too. I might as well do that since I'm up here on the hill. So that's another success is the, the sales of the apparel have made it possible for me to be out here comfortably and I just can't tell you guys how much I appreciate that. All right, so I wanna say thanks to Daniel Kimball, uh, Dalton Holman. I also wanna thank uh, Elizabeth Giannini, I think that's how you say it. I'm Italian, I should be able to say an Italian name, but uh, don't bet on it. Also wanna thank uh, Nathaniel Merkley, David Harris, Tyler Kenyon, Jason Pappas. Again, I remember that name from earlier. Thank you, Jason. So thank you guys for buying apparel. Like those few orders that come in every day, you know, they, they just put a little bit of money back in my bank account. I'm gonna spend another few hundred dollars on fuel driving home now. Um, they covered some some boots for me out here. Just just some things that I needed, and I really, really appreciate that. And also, they're putting a little bit of money in my savings account so that when this kid gets here, which could be sooner rather than later, be able to pay for some of the medical bills and also be able to stay home for a little while and not have to worry so much about how I'm going to bring in income. And thank you guys who bought apparel. Thank you guys for watching this series and staying with me. Your positive comments pulled me through a really, really tough hunt. And now it's time to go see my family. Consolation prize. It's a nice hard white, actually. On my way out of here, my way down the hill. Truck's right below me. So apparently there are deer here at some point, right? Sweet. Man, I don't know whose job it is to clean these hills up, but you're sleeping. You're sleeping on the job. I've picked up horns every time I walk up this face. Too bad they're not big, but that's a cool three point. Kind of heavy and bladed on the back. Not a bad little walk off. Man, so we're riding around the back of this truck does. My camper shell shifted back a little bit, and so dust was getting in. Had to retighten her down yesterday. I'm gonna have some cleaning. Cleaning on my hands when I get home. That one was supposed to be full of deer meat. Drinks, food. Hey, hi, Bronxy. Hi, bub. Bronxy. I got stuff for you. Give me a kiss. I missed you, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. I missed you. I missed you.